this is my indoor pond or one of the two i've got two ones over there the one over there has got the goldfish in um which run my aquaponic system when it's up and going but the tub over there has got a leak in it so i'm going to move the fish into the tub over here it rained a lot last night and it filled the tub and i've put an extra 100 liters in from the tubs outside as well so just showing you the tubs i'm going to put the fish in so this is a black goldfish a black goldfish a black carp and i'm just going to pop it into the other pond there you go it's got a lot more volume of water in here so that one's a, a dark sort of blackish carp um, there were 10 fish indoors and um, there's now uh, something like 30 something in here which I've got to obviously move out because um, I don't want 30 fish in an indoor tank uh, in a in an empty tank so anyway this one's a little shabumpkin there we go straight off number three this is also a shabumpkin I'm just letting the water out because I don't want to transfer the mucky water is it, is it? into the other nice clean tub or cleanish tub I'm actually going to just catch it out there we go, you can see what it's like Nice little shabumpkin, plop into the other pond. So this is number four. Oops, sorry, that was you. And again, this is a actually a nice big goldfish. There we go. And again, I'm gonna take it out just so that I don't get all the minging water. There we go, number four's in. Number five is a shabumpkin. And again, I'm gonna get it out just so you can have a look. There we go, into the new pond. So this one is a white cloud minnow I just caught. There it is. It's only a little one and it's going into the white cloud minnow indoor pond. So I've got number six and seven. Again, they're in the net, but I'm going to take them out. This is six, another shrimpkin. Seven, another shabumpkin, this one's lighter, pretty colours. And it goes. Eight, nine. There's a goldfish and a white comet. There we go. Eight. Nine. Shabumpkin comet. Next out is a little tiny white cloud minnow again. There we go. Into the indoor minnow pond. Number ten. It's a dark coloured carp, much the same as the first one I put in. I'm just going to catch it out, and we go, the size of it, nice eh? And into the pond. That's ten. Number eleven is a nice pretty shabumpkin again. Very pretty. So you can get it out so we can have a look. There we go, number eleven. There we go. Lively. Number 12 is a shabumpkin as well. There we go, quite a pretty one as well. Number 13, another shabumpkin. Let's catch it out in there. It's only a small one, this one. Okay, 14, 15. Let's get them out. Got a nice white looking one, shabumpkin type. And there's something else in there. What's that? Oh, there's a small black one there. It's 15, 16, it's another dark carp. 17, it's a nice shabumpkin. That one's pretty, like, it's got lots of gold on it. There we go. Really pretty. 17. Two more white cloud minnow. Okay. In the indoor pond. 18. Is this nice big white white gold comet? I think this is one of the ones from Troy um, that I got in the pet shop a few. Um, it's 
the aquatic shop if you look back on my videos you'll see look how beautiful that is we want some nice fish go and see troy in the aquatic shop near uh, Oxford. Um, i should try and write it in the description anyway lovely fish uh number 19 is another goldfish uh i think it's a comet came from troy's again from the aquatic shop um it does very good aquatics Oop, i'm gonna pop it in bear with me <laughs> 19. There's also two white cloud minnow in here which I'm going to put into the other pond. Number 20 is a big goldfish. Isn't that beautiful? Massive goldfish in the tank. That's number 20. There's probably 10, 15 more in here. Um, but I'm going to leave them in and let it settle and have a look at the situation then. I need to empty it to be able to find where the leak is. Um, but I've got 20 fish in here. I've moved the bubbler, the air bubbler across. You can see it just slightly fizzing down there. I need the sun to come out a bit more. I've got another bubbler there as well. And there's also another solar panelled uh, little air pump, not air pump, little, like a fountain pump. And it's just down here. But again, the sun needs to be shining for it to be able to work. And it just moves the water about. It also has the water coming in off the gutter. So uh, I've moved 20 fish out of one pond into the other, and I'm sure they'll be happier in there because they've got more room and more water and less leakage. Cheers.